Good morning. Happy Friday and welcome to day 28 of 40, your little five minute mini. Um, we're going to be talking about chapter 19, the digestive system today. Remember, this is the only day that we have in the digestive system, um, but you have through the weekend to complete your assignments. They're due um, Sunday at 11.55 p.m. in the evening. As usual, you guys know that. Just reminding you. <laughs> So let's talk about the format of the digestive system. Your CPT code range is 40490 to 49999. <laughs> it's divided according to anatomic, anatomic site. And you see figure 19.1 here on the side. Excuse me, it's figure 19.1, and this is from your textbook. Included in this subsection are codes for sites beginning with the mouth and ending with the anus. Also included are those internal organs that aid in the digestive process, including the pancreas, liver, and gallbladder. This subsection includes codes for procedures of the abdomen, peritoneum, omentum, and hernia repairs. Endoscopic codes are located throughout the subsection on the basis of the anatomic site. So let's talk about NCCT review. Now this is not gonna have a question assigned to it, but this is just information that you're gonna need to remember when coding and it directly will relate to NCCT. The digestive system extends from where the food enters to where it leaves the body, that is from the mouth to the rectum. This is called the elementary, elementary canal and the digestive system subsection of surgery is more or less arranged to follow the path from in ingestion to excretion. So from ingestion to excretion. There are, as you might imagine, countless surgical procedures that affect this long, complicated system. When coding a procedure in the digestive system, it's important to note where the procedure starts. Some procedures start at the mouth and go all the way to the duodenum. Others, like colonoscopy, start via the rectum and travel through the colon. If given a choice between two procedures, we always code the furthest one. That is, if we are re were removing polyps in the esophagus and the duodenum, we would use the code for the polyp excision in the duodenum because it is in the furthest part of the body. The further we go, the more money we make. So I hope you guys learned something today. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Please reach out to me with any questions. Bye-bye, everybody.